all right ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another video today we are back at it with nerfed diamonds versus buffed silvers here are the buffs and nerfs for the diamonds they cannot use primary operator abilities so if they're playing ash they cannot ash charge if they're playing thermite they cannot use thermite charges etc etc they have to use pistol only and they're going to be on 50 HP every round. As for the silvers, they're going to be buffed with 200 HP, so practically double the normal HP. And we're going to see who's going to win here. We did this with champs versus coppers, and it went 4-4. I won't spoil who won that. Make sure you guys watch that video. But we're going to see diamonds versus silvers. Who's going to take it? Put your predictions down in the comments. Make sure you guys subscribe. Turn notifications on so you don't miss any other videos like this one. Like the video. And let's hop it straight into round number one. The silvers are going to be on 200 HP. So they have about double the HP that, you know, they would normally have. The diamond's going to be shooting themselves down to 50 HP here. All right, looks like we're going to have dead on the front door right now. He's trying to swing out. He's might find 80k4 on the repel here as Twitch. He is going to be trying to play on this game's window, but he needs to be careful as dead could go to that classroom window to take him out. Taking a look at the rest of our diamond players, though, they're mostly doing a big window take. We see Star Wolf is going to be droning out the big window right now, and Buck's going to be trying to burn the Aruni Gate and any other ADSs that the Silvers may have placed. And you can see we is going to be throwing in his grenades, trying to get any kills, but both grenades are going to miss. And remember, they cannot use their primary abilities here. So they're going to be stuck on just using their secondary utility to try to win this round. Ooh, dead going to grab the first kill of the rounds onto Nebula. That wall bang through the dorms window. No more gridlock for the diamond players. ATK4 finally trying to push in through this game's window. And it's going to be tough trying to play windows with only a pistol. We'll see how he's going to do it. Smoke grenades are going in. It looks like he's just going to repel directly in. But the flashbangs will blind him. He's just planting, though. Plant is going down. Two and a half seconds left, and it looks like he's actually going to be able to get this down. The diamonds were spam shooting to cover the sound. Iana hops into the big window and is going to be trying to grab some frags out of the silver players, but dead will take him out. And now, ATK4 on the roof, defending against the diffuser along with Star Wolf right now. Buck on top, or on the big window right now. Going to do a lot of damage onto one of the players inside of sight here, but not enough to kill him. Diffusers are going out, but ATK4 is on the window doing what he can. The, the diffuser is still being diffused, though. ATK4 picking up three kills now. Slap with a refrag, and oh boy, this plant was absolutely amazing from ATK4. The fourth kill for him. About to come out onto this Malusi player. Star Wolf going to steal it, and... Round number one goes to the nerf diamond players. Honestly, all because of that plant. 100% because of that plant. All right, here we are. The diamonds once again going to be trying to push outside of the dorms window. And oh no, a little bit of team damage here onto Blackbeard. That's not good as all of these diamonds are already low HP on about 50 HP. And they have to fight with only their pistols here. And ooh, the recoil on the deagle getting away from Blackbeard there is... Smoke's going to be trying to swing this big window and grab a kill. A lot of the diamond players are all over dorms right now. They're definitely going to be doing a big window slash dorms take. We, we are going to see Nebula repelled on this kid's window, and he's going to get the first kill of the rounds onto Norm. So the Valk goes down for the silver players, and Warden's going to be trying to head over to this window. Or, well, my, excuse me, he's going to take a little bit of his HP, but the silver is having 200 HP. They can really tank so many shots from the diamonds especially when they're forced to only use these pistols star wolf going to be trying to drone in through below right now spotting out the solace and he's going to be trying to just stay on drone and make sure that the blackbeard player knows exactly where solace is and it looks like he's going to try to rotate in and possibly do a wall bang but he missed the shots to the wall and with no ammo left he'll be forced to reload solace inside of security completely confused on what's even happening right now I don't think he realized he just got droned out. The Deagle shot will connect to Solus through the wall, but he has so much HP, it barely does anything. Star Wolf, though, pushing up through the Z Hall will push in, but his teammate will flash him, and Solus is able to grab both of the kills onto the two Diamond players. That is a big mistake with the flashbang there. Very unfortunate. That's going to put the Solus on about 
40 50 hp along with our other diamond players here so he's going to be pretty much on par with them now we'll see how that's going to go for him but he grabs a third kill on the rounds now and atk4 going to be repelling straight into the site but it's not going to work like it did the first round dead's going to be there to take him out and now it's just left to the knock player with the deagle will grab one kill solace goes down but that was the weakest player in terms of hp for the silvers with three to go i don't know if it's going to be possible for him to win this only five seconds left on the clock they'll try to push up through the white stairs here but not even one kill it looks like will come out and the silvers are going to pick up round number two so some good back and forth here already bro's got like 100 hp somebody shoot nebula bro this guy's too much hp all right nebula running into the freezer now this team going to be shooting him down to his proper hp as he's going to be trying to do this freezer rush with the rest of his team they do have a monty as well as a blitz right now but remember they can't use the primary ability so they're going to have to flip the shields on their backs and only just use the pistols try to walk backwards with the shields i guess but slap will pick up the first kill onto nebula who tried rushing in but unfortunately for him it did not work atk4 going to be trying to burn the wamai dis and push in through his smoke grenade and through laundry side we'll see if it works for him is that smoke strat did work for him the first round here all right that's going to be blitz picking up the first kill or the first kill for the diamond players here that will be rook going down now slap on the pillar trying to defend against star wolf who's pushing down through pillar stairs he's going to rotate to try and help his team now he does have the secondary hard breach gadget to open up this hatch remember he cannot bucket open as he cannot use his primary abilities but wow mira going to grab the kill on some monty and now star wolf going to be opening up the second laundry hatch we we pushing in with the blitz going to be trying to take front control along with the knock now but here comes the alibi pushed up into the closet trying to defend against that a grenade's going to come out from the knock but that will miss and alibi's going to realize it's probably smart to rotate out of there honestly though the defenders have great positioning still and they still have this mirror window as well so it's not looking good at all for the diamond players they're down in man count as well taking a look it looks like they're going to do a e-box drop right now we we trying to have his back turn to wamai who's on pillar but it won't work he'll get taken out and all of the diamond players within five seconds going to get taken out there round number two or round number three going to the silvers all right here we are osa going to be trying to push through bunker right now but a c4 is going to come out and take out that shield but osa having so much hp going to actually survive that c4 if it wasn't for the 200 hp buff that the silver has right there the osa would definitely have died but an impact comes out and that will finish osa off now not having quite enough hp to tank two impacts and a c4 the diamonds finally in the lead here for once with man count it's looking good for them so far they're on defense and the silvers have yet to really even breach any of their utilities so far now, ATK4 is upstairs in tower. He's going to be trying to play close on this tower door, and it looks like the Silvers may have missed drone him. I don't know if that drone just saw him or not. To me, it doesn't look like they know he's there at all, but finally, the drone will actually come back and spot him out, but I don't know if... I don't know if they know he went back into this corner. Oh, he does. Blackbeard is able to look underneath the door and see his feet. ATK4 will go down, evening things out to a 4v4 now. Clash in the back on this tarp door going to be trying to peek into bunker but nebula will be the one that grabs the kill on the warden that will that will be ash going down he's trying to grab his second onto thermite a little bit of damage will be given onto him but again the silvers just have so much hp they can take so many of these shots if the diamonds don't get headshots they basically have to unload the full mag into them and with norm playing blackbeard right now that's going to be especially difficult it looks like he's already gone through maybe both of his shields Oh, Nebula with another kill this round onto, who was that? The Sledge now. So a 2v4 for the Silver players. 55 seconds left. They don't have any sort of map control. Slap is the only one that's even made it inside the building here so far. Flash going to swing up the tower stairs and Thermite will take him out. And it looks like someone's going to be trying to possibly... Actually, no one was trying to flank. I thought someone was trying to flank the Thermite, but all of the diamonds are on site right now. So... No, no flank coming out from the thermite. 
doesn't have to worry about that whatsoever blackbeard's still trying to push in through bunker here i don't know if it's going to work out for him though is their team is too split but as i say that actually he's able to grab the first kill on the nebula in this 2v3 only two left no one is actually even focused on the blackbeard whatsoever and that allows him to push up into bunker slap trying to push down through these stairs but both the diamonds are ready for him and he's gonna get taken out now as blackbeard's the last remaining player but he'll pick up one kill there's only one left that he needs to grab who's gonna get it it's gonna be the diamond that was a very close round but malusi will tie things up two to two now all right here we go just what you want to see if you're nerfed diamonds with only 50 hp no operator util utility and only pistols a blitz and a blackbeard i'm interested to see how the diamonds are going to handle this this round they are going to be going upstairs and it looks like they do have a few roamers right now so we'll see if maybe either the, either the warden or maybe the goyo can catch the blitz off guard that's going to be their best bets here bandit is all the way downstairs in the basement right now but honestly, it looks like the Silvers are going to be just going for a direct push. We see it looks like Sledge is just sitting here waiting for possibly Slap to push into Master, open up the wall, kind of get all the eyes of the Diamond players onto the Breach side. That way he can open up the window and start playing that. But he got bored. He's going to open it, start trying to peek through it instead. And oh no, here comes the Blitz. The C4 comes out from ATK4, but it will miss. And the Blitz now going to just rotate off for now not wanting to solo push anybody star wolf trying to swing the big window right now as some grenades are coming through sledge trying to find a kill here from the big window but i'm not sure if he's going to find one and we is actually below the big window watching this jump in so this big window push is certainly not going to work for the silvers they're going to have to figure out something else if they want to win this round but the blitz is going to be shot down to about one hp someone was all the way in big tower able to, to able to do a lot of damage i believe that's atk4 able to do a ton of damage onto the blitz player now so blitz basically is no problem for the diamonds at this point but Silvers still have really no map control, but finally Slap going to pick up one kill and wow, the 200 HP really keeping him alive there as I believe that was Warden who swung and not able to take him out. I said Blitz wouldn't be a problem, but he runs in and grabs a kill as two more kills come out from the Diamond players, Blackbeard being one of them. That's got to be really annoying as if you're one of the Diamond players dying to either a Blitz or a Blackbeard when you have 50 HP. We all alone below in the 1v4. The plant's going down. Really no way of even stopping it now. No C4 in hand, but oh, nice. He'll grab the one tap onto Sledge, but he's got to find three more. 35 seconds left on the diffuser. It's looking unlikely for him to win this. Blitz has put away his shield and opted to just ADS instead. Doing a little bit of trolling now. The Silvers are feeling confident, but here comes... We up through the stairs and he'll grab the first kill. Oh my God, somehow he's dodging these bullets and the Blackbeard shield will save Norm right there. Oh, that's gotta be so annoying if you're the diamonds. The Silvers have 200 HP and they're playing shield operators. Is it a bug? Is, is it a bug, some of them, on half HP? Because Norm has half HP in the little thing on the right, but full when I spectate him. I don't know what's going on here. Either way though, we're gonna have all of the silvers doing a big small tower push here what a way to put that and we're gonna see how the diamonds are gonna react to this look at the angle here from star wolf prone on the kitchen counter looking through the little window on this counter that is unbelievable honestly if i die to that i'm just i'm hanging it up right there we gonna grab the first kill this round though onto the buck player and now it's going to be a 5v4 dead trying to push in through this kitchen door here who's throwing elamines you're not supposed to be using your utility no elamines i caught that atk4 taking all but about five of his hp i'm not even sure who was to blame for that i think it was slap on the zofia star wolf finally gonna pick up a kill on this angle through the head holes though so finka goes down and now it is a 5v3 so not looking good for the silver players. They're not gaining any map control is the problem. They're just inside of dining. They're all trying to hold the same angle. And the diamonds are playing it smart. They realize they have so many nerfs. 
The round is not going in their favor just by default. So they're trying to play it safe. They're not trying to swing, especially when you've got Norm on the Blackbeard here inside of Dining on 200 HP plus a face shield. He's practically invincible walking around the map right now. And he's going to have to run into we who's above right now looking through those floor holes going to do a ton of damage to him so he's going to be left at about 30 to 50 hp now and he's going to be trying to just sprint in through the door but no star wolf and chris are there to take him out and nebula with the last kill the diamonds are going to bring things to ot all right finally we're going to have a push in from the silvers and it looks like they're going to be all mostly trying to push in from front side right now we've got three of them front side one of them is going to be on the back side we'll see how that works for them sledge and osa already low hp speaking of osa she's going to be taken out nebula grabbing the first kill this round no more osa for the silvers sledge going to be trying to refrag with the grenade but that lands nowhere near any of the diamond players and that will surely miss the hatch is being reinforced this time, slowing down the Silver's plan of attack. They tried to get those hatches last time, I believe, but this time they're all going to be reinforced. So I'm going to slow them down here a little bit. All of the diamonds are on site, just holding. But ATK4 on the stairs to Freezer will grab another kill. Sledge goes down, so that's both of the lit players for the Silver team. Reload. Now... The last three remaining, trying to figure out exactly how they want to push into the site. They're all above right now, but the problem is they don't have any of the hatches and they also don't have any other map control. So it really doesn't matter. All of the diamonds are just practically sitting on site, except for ATK4 on the freezer stairs here, trying to hold down this hallway. But honestly, that's smart. And he might run into Ash right now as she's going to be swinging in from the split door. And here comes the swing. Shots will miss. A little bit of damage onto the Ash player, but she has so much HP. Don't underestimate the 200 HP. Pre-fires will come out, but dude, aim lower, bro. ATK4 will take him out. Chris will go down, though, as Blackbeard pushes in through Bunker side, and it's going to be a 2v4 now. And Zofia is nowhere to be seen, and Blackbeard will get taken out while Zofia tries to rotate in to help him unfortunate situation with only 20 seconds left it looks like the diamonds are going to take this round but off screen slap grabs a kill from the grave with the claymore on the tower door and or actually not from the grave excuse me he's not dead yet he's my he is now though so he takes him out on the bunker door oh my god i'm getting ahead of myself i just knew what was about to happen that's all all right here we go nebula is going to be repelled on the dorms window trying to get an angle into sight but so they're going to rotate off now. It looks like they might be trying to push in through this green hall. We see ATK4 is going to hop straight in. And I think they're going to be trying to nade from below. I think that's what they're trying to set up right now. ATK4 probably going to bring his drone up the white stairs, trying to get some nades. We'll see if that ends up working for them. But you have to be careful as there are some Mozzie pests on the top of the stairs. And Mozzie himself is going to be inside a classroom. And he's going to be... Definitely able to flank if necessary. Star Wolf below as well. Remember, they can't use their primary abilities, so there's no reason for Star Wolf to really be trying to get the walls. They cannot, but ATK4 spotting out where smoke is, going to be trying to nade from underneath, but it won't even do any damage to the smoke player. Back inside of dorms now. Chris repelled all the way on big tower, trying to get an angle into the inside of dorms. It really looks like they're just trying to isolate the smoke player inside of dorms to grab that frag, but it's not working for them whatsoever. They're resorting to just shooting through the floor, trying to get any sort of vertical kills that they can here, but it's not working out. They probably should have just used their nades on the big window here to clear out the thorn player. But regardless, we're going to have ATK4 hopping out of the green window, trying to push into the dorms window here. But oh no, smoke swinging the attic window will take out Chris. No more Monty for the diamonds. And he'll grab another kill as well. Sledge goes down. 3v5 now for the diamonds. As well, Mai is going to tank so many shots from Star Wolf. That 200 HP coming in so handy for him. But he's going to take two more shots. Or that's not that's not the Wamai. Smoke going to take two more shots. Barely doing anything to his HP now. Starwolf going to flash himself. Nebula trying to push into the big window. He's going to hop straight in. But Thorn is prepared for it. That's going to leave we and Starwolf on their own. Starwolf trying to push deep into sight will get taken out. And we, the last remaining diamond player, 
we're going to be going 4-4 it looks like as there's five silvers left we is outside of the big window four seconds left he's going to hop in do a little bit of damage onto the maestro but not enough to get the kill no one will grab that final kill and we're going to 4-4 here very interesting <clears throat> all right so i want to point something out it looks like the blackbird's bringing a dmr twitch is also bringing a dmr that makes the diamond players of essentially a one shot they already have 50 hp i think both of those dmrs do more than 50 damage so definitely don't want to get shot by either of those two silver players nebula trying to swing through the big window will narrowly escape with his life right there as Gridlock and the rest of the Silvers are going to be trying to push out of this big window. It's actually interesting. They're all going for this big window. Nobody is trying to push any other direction right now. They're just all outside the window. This is this is literally Silver perfectly explained in this one round right here. All, all The whole team just swinging one angle. The perfect way to lose. Finally, Iana is going to rotate off and... Well, no, she's going to rotate off of the top of small tower and try to peek the big window still. Somebody please push somewhere else. Finally, Blackbeard going to push it through small tower. You never all want to swing the same angle. It's so pointless. Remember that the site is downstairs in meeting and kitchen right now. So the silver players have already wasted half the round on the big window. They haven't gotten any kills yet. And it looks like they've all taken some damage. And finally, Nebula is going to grab a kill onto the Iana player so no more Iana for the silvers and it's going to be a 5v4 Blackbeard the only one in sight or inside of the building along with the gridlock right now Nebula gonna grab another kill Starwolf one as well so 5v2 the diamonds are looking to lock this out right here right now they still have the Blackbeard player though for the silvers he's gonna be taking a lot of damage but look how tanky he is Pretty much unstoppable with the shield plus the 200 HP. But Goyo's going to be pushing up onto the door. And that will be the Blackbeard going down. It's all up to Twitch, who's above with the DMR. Full HP. If anyone's going to win it, it's going to be the Twitch. He gets one kill. Going for two. Going to take a little bit of damage from the Alibi. And Nebula's going to be trying to swing. He's looking for his third kill on the round here. 30 seconds left. Ella's going to rotate upstairs to try to help Twitch as well. The sprint in from Alibi will cost him his life. Dead's going to reload the revolver. He's trying to play on equal ground as the diamonds, pulling out the pistol for the kills, I guess. Finally reloading the 417 with only 20 seconds left. He's got to find a way to get these three kills. I don't know if it's going to be possible. Starwolf is so far away from where he is right now. Dead's going to be dropping the sight hatch now. And Chris is there ready on the Malusi to take him out. And ladies and gentlemen, the nerfed diamonds will take it by one round. That's both times we've done these t this sort of video where it was nerfed champs versus buffed coppers. That went 4-4, and now this video went 4-4. Very interesting. Well, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys are subscribed, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video.